So in this session of National Aquarium uh, Centers, we have three talks. Uh, and the first talk uh, will be on the uh, Corin, I, I sound, uh, Corin with the National Language Technology Infrastructure Initiative. And please go. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Anna. I am the project manager of the Consortium for Icelandic Language Technology. And I am going to give you a short overview over the language technology program and the resources uh, stored at Claden IS, as we have heard uh, two times this, this morning. Next slide, please. Uh, Claren IS is a fairly new Claren member, and it's currently building a broad collection of, of uh, natural language resources for use in language technology. The current rapid developments in language technology is driven by open access to software and data. And uh, for those resources to be of uh, broad use, they need to be easily accessible and thoroughly documented. So the Icelandic National Language Technology Program has chose Claren IS as um, a central host for all deliverables. So the C Center uh, of Claren IS is hosting the metadata for various text and speech corpora, language resources, software packages, and, and uh, models. Well, the providers of the resources are is the SEAM consortium. Uh, these are universities, institutions, private companies working on, on the program, the infrastructure uh, initiative. Next slide, please. Uh, the next couple of slides, I will give a broad overview over the uh, deliverables, over the resources uh, currently being worked on and uh, partially already ready on, on CLAD and IS. Um, the core focus of the project is on infrastructure and language resources. Uh, we have text corpora, parallel text corpora, lexicographic resources, um, and large and uh, thoroughly crafted speech corpora, both crowdsourced and also high quality uh, recordings for uh, speech synthesis. Next slide, please. Uh, on the next level, so to speak, we have uh, natural language processing tools like tokenizer, part of speech taggers, parses, lemmatizers, tools like we heard of before, um, the lexicon uh, acquisition tools, and uh, many more subsumed under, under, uh, under the name of uh, semantic analysis, language modeling, bird light models, and resources like that. Next slide, please. The infrastructure software projects are divided into uh, four core uh, areas. This is, uh, these are speech recognition, speech synthesis, machine translation, and spell and grammar checking. And for all infrastructure projects, the aim is to publish open environments for adaption and further research and development, as well as to deliver software packages that can be integrated into all the products. Uh, the delivered pro products will be designed for defined domains with instructions for adaption to other domains. So the key takeaway here is that uh, these software packages are meant to be of use in uh, language technology applications and user applications. So these um, packages are not themselves ready products, but we aim at them to be to build the core uh, and backbones of uh, applications for Ice, including Icelandic uh, language technology. Next slide, please. Well, as I said before, accessibility um, of the resources is key for them to be of use. And also, it is very important that uh, users are allowed to include the resources, the software tools in their commercial products, as well as in research. So the aim is to publish the majority of the language resources under the CC BY4 license. This is not in every case possible, but um, at least the results like models, uh, translation models, language models, etc. Uh, are published under an open license. 
and all delivered software uh, without exception is published under the Apache 2.0 license or a comparable license. Um, 30 seconds. 30 seconds, yes. Uh, and we uh, strive to have common guidelines and quality standards uh, coordinated across all projects. Next slide, please. Uh, and finally, here is um, the collection of, of the participants in the consortium in 2021, universities, private companies, institutions, and uh, associations like the associations for the visually impaired and the National Audiobook Library. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And we go to the next talk, which is on uh, Knowledge uh, Center for the Belarusian Text and Speech Processing. Please. Hello to everyone. My name is Juraj Skitsevich. I wanted to present uh, our results in our Knowledge Center for Belarusian Text and Speech Processing. In previous year, we received a certificate of recognition uh, for our uh, Knowledge Center. And we uh, try to collect uh, in our web page clarin-belarus.corpus.py all our knowledge about uh, Belarusian language processing from phonetic to pragmatic uh, levels. Uh, the main uh, core uh, of our knowledge center is a web platform uh, that uh, collects uh, uh, tools and services for Belarusian text speech processing. Each of these uh, services uh, work uh, uh, on uh, basic, basic principles. So one click on start, one instant result. Uh, next principle is ready to use tools. Uh, everything has been saved uh, for future using and towards to open source tools. Next one slide. Uh, we try to group our services on next thematical groups. It's uh, proofreading, uh, UDC uh, group is for libraries processing data, uh, tools for writer, tools for linguists, tools for programmers, tools for other persons and uh, professions, uh, tools that doesn't work uh, properly now, and all tools. Next one, please. Uh, I wanted to show some examples uh, of our services, for example, text-to-speech synthesizers that uh, synthesize Belarusian, Russian, and uh, English speech uh, online. Uh, this uh, service are available on our platform, corpus.by, and also through Velo uh, Clarion. Uh, next example is uh, we, I wanted to show you a combination between a classical electronic grammatical dictionary that could uh, show visitors spelling, transcription, part of speech, and uh, also combination with uh, text to speech synthesis. Uh, it's possible to hear uh, how any any words uh, word could uh, could be could sounds. An example is speech plotter service that could uh, show to um, to user how uh, Belarusian speech uh, could be um, could could be understood via spectrogram, via astelgram, usual astelgram, and via and via intonation gram. Next slide. On this list, uh, you can see uh, up to seventy web services for Belarusian, Russian, and English uh, processing and still, and for this very moment is still growing. Uh, we, we try to collect all, all services that we, um, that we could create in, in cooperation with our students, with our PhD students, with our co-workers in, in all our projects. Uh, some words about about our educational activities. Uh, we provide courses on competition on linguistic, on programming, on data processing for, for our students and for, and for teachers that we are working together. Uh, also, we uh, provide very fast course how to be 
uh, very fluent in text and speech process processing fields in 10 days. It's a free available tool, uh, free available resource on our uh, corpus.by um, platform. And also we provide um, a video tutorial how to work with uh, this software, this much software on the basis of Belarusian module. Next one. 30 seconds. Okay, thank you. It's last slide. Uh, we wanted to attract more uh, scientific organizations and institutes uh, to, to work together in our KBLD center. We wanted to add new resources such as corpora, dictionaries, tools, uh, and other services. And we wanted to provide our services for uh, for clearing participants and also not non clearing particip participants. Uh, we wanted to make very good overviews of our services uh, and uh, to provide a user friendly also overview for clearing infrastructure. Next slide. Okay, we are open for your comments, for your suggestions via our email. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much for the presentation. And the last one is on uh, Founders uh, Corinne, New Perspectives, and it will be given by Vincent. Yes. Hello. So, um, yeah, this is a, a bit of a complicated story as uh, Flanders was a member of Clarin until 2018, but then due to some administrative reasons, uh, Flanders could no longer be a member through the Dutch language under the Dutch language union flag, but had to uh, apply for another way um, as such to make Belgium, Belgium uh, a Clarin member. So we submitted the proposal um, for support of the Flemish government to the founding of uh, Clarin Belgium. And uh, luckily this was approved um, together with, uh, um, yeah, so this was approved without financing. And then another uh, project proposal, which we submitted to the International Research Infrastructure Call uh, was uh, approved with funding and that's the Claria Flanders uh, uh, project. Uh, next slide, please. Um, within the Claria Flanders project, there is uh, a Clarin part and a Daria part, uh, roughly speaking. Um, and uh, the Clarin part, uh, is uh, will be uh, operated by the um, Clarin Flanders Consortium, or at least by uh, some groups of the Clarin Flanders Consortium, which consists of the, the Dutch Language Institute, uh, Institute for the Netherlands at Taal, where I am, uh, which is my main affiliation, and which is also a Clarin B Center uh, and a Clarin Knowledge Center um, for Dutch. Uh, which was already a Clarin B Center for the Netherlands and uh, which takes uh, all the Clarin B Center tasks for um, for the for Clarin Belgian uh, as as uh, as far as um, Dutch is concerned, and then there are uh, the three. Uh, yeah, three universities involved uh, currently in the consortium, which is uh, University of Ghent with a language technology group and a speech technology group, University of Antwerp uh, with uh, um, yeah, a language technology group and University of Leuven with um, two language technology groups and one uh, speech technology group. Um, of these groups, um, a few are involved in, in the Claria uh, um, VL proposal and and we will um, and these are our plans. The project is, is just uh, beginning, so we need to. Uh, we only have plans. Uh, we don't have any results yet, but our plans are to um, wrap up all the all the tools and, and, and research aspects we we currently have and uh, turn them into uh, web services, so they are easily uh, uh, could easily be used by. Um, Clarin users or by uh, humanities users without much technical background. Uh, we also want to benchmark uh, different alternatives. For instance, for Dutch, there are different taggers available, uh, which one is the best uh, or, or the easiest to work with. So we, we have to um, compare them somehow. Um, the tools will mainly be on, on Dutch, 
Um, but apart from the basic uh, processing, we also want to include uh, uh, more more uh, natural language understanding tools uh, like uh, emotion detection, uh, topic modeling, stylometry, uh, and, and document similarity clustering. And uh, additionally, we want to um, make tools that um, yeah work with parallel data or with multilingual data. Um, so make it easy to do sentence alignment and word alignment and things like that. And we will develop these tools um, in the context of specific use cases, which still have to be determined. And these use cases will lead to, to uh, um, yeah, pipelines of these tools. So, and um, that's roughly it. Uh, and I hope we're back on the time schedule. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.